We never apologize to anyone for depending upon our Creator. We can laugh at those who think spirituality the way of weakness. Paradoxically, it is the way of strength. The verdict of the ages is that faith means courage. All men of faith have courage. They trust their God. We never apologize for God. Instead, we let Him demonstrate through us what He can do. We ask Him to remove our fear and direct our attention to what He would have us be. At once, we commence to outgrow fear. And we have ceased fighting anything or anyone, even alcohol. For by this time sanity will have returned. We will seldom be interested in liquor. If tempted, we recoil from it as from a hot flame. We react sanely and normally, and we will find that this has happened automatically. We will see that our new attitude toward liquor has been given us without any thought or effort on our part. It just comes. That is the miracle of it. We are not fighting it. Neither are we avoiding temptation. We feel as though we had been placed in a position of neutrality, safe and protected. We have not even sworn off. Instead, the problem has been removed. It does not exist for us. We are neither cocky nor are we afraid. That is our experience. That is how we react, so long as we keep in fit spiritual condition. Then they go on to tell us that is how we react so long as we keep in fit spiritual condition. They're giving us a little checklist. It has been my experience, personally, as well as observing people I've worked with through the years in these rooms, that there's fundamentally only one reason why I will drink again. And that's because I'm not in fit spiritual condition. If I am in fit spiritual condition, it is impossible for me to drink. My God will not let it happen. Ask yourself, well, how am I going to know if I'm in fit spiritual condition? They just got through telling us. This is how we react. So I have a little checklist. Let's see if I'm in fit spiritual condition. I go back and I start reading the beginning of that paragraph. Have I ceased fighting anything or anyone? Or am I getting into arguments with people all the time? Getting into debates? Getting on a crusade? Got to convince you this is the way you got to do the program. This is for this time, Sandy. Will it re has Sandy returned? Are you seldom interested in liquor and attempted? Have you been able to recoil from it as from a hot flame? Are you reacting sanely normally? It says we're not fighting it. We feel as though we've been placed in a position of neutrality, safe and protected. Now, if I am truly spiritually fit, and if I am truly in a position of neutrality, safe and protected, you know what that means? That means you cannot harm me. If I'm in a position of neutrality, say, how are you going to hurt me? What are you going to do? Steal my truck? Go ahead. Take it. God's just going to give me another one. You want my money? Follow me. Follow me outside of the meeting. You know where it's dark. And I go out to my truck and pull out a knife or a gun and say, I want your money. I say, okay, here. Take it. Why? Because I'm safe and protected. God's just going to give me more. I can go anywhere. I've been to places that people have told me not to go. Let's take it to the extreme. Let's say you get really resentful at me and you decide you want to kill me. Bring it on. I'm just going to a better place. <laughs> That's what being safe and protected means. It means I'm no longer living in fear. That doesn't mean I don't experience fear. I'm not driven by fear anymore. Because I, I've become clear as a result of following the recipe in this book that I'm a spiritual being with a human condition. Which means I'm going to have human reactions. I'm going to experience sadness, grief, anger, disappointment, so on and so forth. But that's, that's, that's natural and normal for me. This thought brings us to step 10 which suggests we continue to take personal inventory and continue to set right any new mistakes as we go along. 
We vigorously commenced this way of living as we cleaned up the past. We have entered the world of the Spirit. Our next function is to grow in understanding and effectiveness. This is not an overnight matter. It should continue for our lifetime. Continue to watch for selfishness, dishonesty, resentment, and fear. When these crop up, we ask God at once to remove them. We discuss them with someone immediately and make amends quickly if we have harmed anyone. Then we resolutely turn our thoughts to someone we can help. Love and tolerance of others is our code.